The best way to get around Tokyo is on the trains. They're clean, reliable, and will get you anywhere you want to go. You can go to the major tourist sites, but you can also go out to the mountains and you can even go out to the beaches and explore local neighborhoods as well. I love exploring Tokyo because there's a lot to see, both the old and the new. There's a lot of shops that have been around for hundreds of years. There are many ways to get into Tokyo from the airport. I personally prefer the Narita Express. It's clean, it's reliable, you have your own seat, and best of all, it doesn't get stuck in traffic. Traveling in Tokyo can be very difficult if you have your luggage. One thing we like to do is we will check in our luggage to a delivery service and they will actually bring the luggage to my home or if you're staying at a hotel, they'll bring it to the hotel. You do need to keep in mind that it's an overnight delivery service, so make sure you keep any toiletries, anything that you'll need overnight until you see your bag the next morning. Not a lot of shops will take credit cards, so it's good to arrive into the city with some Japanese yen. You can go to the money exchange to exchange your foreign currency or stop by an ATM, but it's good to do it before you leave the airport. Japanese convenience stores are amazing. They're usually open 24 hours, and in Narita Airport, we make a habit of stopping by and picking up some drinks and some food for our one-hour ride into the city. When you come down the escalator, it's quite big down here, so look for the signs that say JR Line. That's where you'll find the Narita Express, which will take you to Tokyo Station. The Narita Express leaves every 30 minutes, and you can buy your ticket at the machine. Every seat is reserved, so you do need a ticket before you go on. There's actually an English button, which will help you to buy the ticket. And then we'll push for the Narita Express, and for the Narita Express from the airport and we're going to Tokyo Station and for one adult. We'll take the 1015 in the regular car and I'll pick the window seat. So you put your money into the machine and your coins will go in here. Once you get into Tokyo, you'll need to get around on the trains, buses, and you can use a Suica, which is a prepaid card that you can also use at convenience stores and other places. We'll buy one here at the airport at Narita. Please select the desired charge amount. Please insert money. So I've picked a $10 thousand yen. There's a $5 deposit on it, so I've got 500 yen to use here to get, on the, get around on the trains once we get to Tokyo. You'll have two tickets for the Narita Express and you'll put them into the turnstile and be sure to pick them up on the other side. When you come down to the platform, you'll need to know which car to go in. So we want car number one. So we'll follow the signs down here to car number one. On the Narita Express, there's places to put your luggage and then we take our seat. This train will stop at Tokyo, Shinagawa, Shibuya. Right now we're riding on the JR line, the Narita Express, which goes from the Narita Airport to Tokyo and a few other major stations. So once you get on the Narita Express, you've got one hour until it arrives in the city, so we always take this chance to have a little snack on the train. You can't eat on the local trains within the city, but on these special express trains, if there's a tray that you can pull down, then it's okay to eat on the train. We're almost to Tokyo Station and the train stops for just a very short time so you need to grab your luggage and get ready to get off for the arrival. So we're here, we're at Tokyo Station, one hour after we left Narita. There are actually 3,000 departures per day from the station. But inside of Tokyo Station is an area called Grand Style where there's a lot of prepared foods. It's great because you'll find food from all over Japan as well as different types of Japanese cuisine here. So it's nice to stop by here if you want to pick up some lunch or something to eat back in your hotel room. Once you've arrived to Tokyo Station, you'll most likely take a local train. So when exiting, we'll use our either our Narita Express tickets or our Suica to exit. So this map is in English and it tells you how much you need to pay when you're going to any of these stations in the Tokyo area. But if you're using the prepaid Suica card, you don't have to worry about that. Where to get on the train is well marked here. This is the JR Yamanote, which is the circle line. 
and most travelers will take this. There's a sound that the train is coming. So if you're riding the train for the first time in Japan, it's important to be considerate of other people around you. Don't talk loudly, don't take up too much space. And if you're traveling with a backpack during rush hour, it's polite to put it in front of you so that you can not bother people who are behind you. This is Yukari Sakamoto signing off from Tokyo.